I see members of the community who are gathered here, the media, everyone. Good morning. The use of technology to enhance teaching and learning through digital inclusion and digital literacy has been a key objective of the government. The temporary closure of schools as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic has reinforced the need for us to accelerate progress in achieving this objective. Under the Tablet in Schools program, the government has procured 65,000 tablets valued at approximately 11.1 million US dollars. The initial expectation was for the devices to be distributed to schools within the next 12 months. However, in light of COVID-19, we are expecting the process to also facilitate greater online learning. So that means we will have to fast track what we are doing. Now I know that teachers have complained about the difficulty of using cell phones for online classes. Now, now I have seen that there are actually teachers who have done that and do it quite successfully. And on the other end, there are students who are using their phones. I am particularly happy because before the request for parents were to provide phones and the truth is that their children were mainly using them for video games and other fun stuff. Now, the phone, the tablet and the computer has taken on new importance and value in the household and in the lives of our children. We are actually now using it as a tool for improving productivity and creating value. And I like that because, yes, we have viewed these instruments as appliances, as toys, as conveniences, but they are tools to create value and improve our productivity. So I'm not happy that it has taken COVID for us to embrace and utilize the technology, but that it has happened and we are now understanding how these instruments can become tools of value creation. I think we are much better off for that. So, in commending the JTA and Mr. Dr. Anderson, I believe, was the president at the time when this negotiation was done. Started with you. Yes, you were president at the time when the negotiation started. And um, at that time, there was no contemplation of COVID. It, it was indeed a part of the remuneration package, the wage negotiation package of the teachers. But it was providential. It was providential that this was done. Because no more than ever, we're going to need to have these instruments in the hands of our teachers. So of the 65,000 ministers, I gather that 25,000 will go directly to our teachers. The former president of the JTA was quick to point out that the teachers will have the tablets for their personal use. And, and it is very important that he point that out because what he was saying is that remember now, Mr. Prime Minister and this Minister, that these tablets, though they have come in so handily for COVID, they were actually a part of the salary negotiations of the teachers. Yes, Mr. Uh, former President of the JTA, we, we hear the message loud and clear and we understand what you're saying. And the government isn't planning to place any restriction and the teachers as to how they use the tablet but of course now being the COVID time we expect that the tablet will feature heavily in the delivery of the curriculum and training and, and um, instruction for our students and I see the former president of the JTA nodding in approval at my statement.
Yes. We are at one. So the tablets for teachers program cost approximately 800 million Jamaican dollars. And each tablet is valued, I gather, at about US $200, which is fairly reasonable. Fairly reasonable. And I, from what I've seen, by the way, uh, Minister, I am a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> the University of Jamaica. <laughs> so I'm pleased to be here today to present the teachers' tablets to the teachers of Malcolm Drive Primary and Junior High School in my constituents. Yeah. 